Hi. Let me begin by asking you a question. What's the answer to the question? One plus one times two. What's the answer to the question? One plus one times two. Okay. Did you get four? Did you get three? What? What did you get? Okay. And if there's any kind of argument, let me show you the question instead of talking about the question. Okay. So one plus one times two. And I will leave the you know, question to you. I will leave the answer to you to figure this out. I want to talk about the order of operation today. Okay. So when we are dealing with um, math questions, the calculation questions, we often deal with like um, a couple operations in your question in your calculations. The order of operation is the agreement on what operations should be performed first. So. You can see that right here we have, you know, a several um, calculation questions, and they involve additions, subtractions, exponents, parentheses, things like that. What do we need to do first? And that's exactly what the order of operation is. And let me just kind of talk about this pyramid first. So if you think back when we first learned mathematics, we learned addition and subtraction first, okay? And when we are actually performing the order of operations, we actually have to do the addition or subtraction at the end. We save them till the last. Okay? So the pyramid looks like this. What you want to do first, you have to pay attention to if you have any parentheses. If you see any parentheses or anything that has like an inside, you want to work out the inside. Okay? Next, you want to work out any other special operations. So in this case right here, we have the usual exponents 2 to the 5. And that's one of the special operations, okay? So parentheses, the inside of the parentheses first, and then the exponents, and then you do multiplication with division. If you have division and multiplication in the same question, we're just going to do this from left to right. Likewise, we're going to do addition and subtraction, but if you see subtraction and additions together, we're just going to do it from left to right. So let me work out the multiple of threes right here, and then I will also show you guys how to do this on a calculator. Okay, and of course um, you can check out um, the PDF file. It's going to be in the um, it's in the descriptions of this video. Okay, so for the first question, I have forty. I mean eighty four minus twenty three times two plus two. Okay. So, if we pay attention to this question, and then we should identify what operations do we have first. We have subtractions, multiplications, and addition. Okay? And according to this pyramid, you see how the, uh, you see how the multiplication is above the level of addition or subtraction. Right? This multiplication is above the uh, um, subtraction or addition. So, we are going to do the multiplication first. Okay, so we have to carry out 23 times 2 first. We need to work that out first. So anything else will stay the same. 84, and then we keep the minus. Let's work out 23 times 2. The answer to that will be 46. And then we are going to add a 2 at the end. Okay? And now we see we have subtraction and addition. They are on the same level. Right, they are on the same level of the order of operations of my pyramid. And we are just going to do it from left to right. So we are just going to do this from left to right. So we should first work out 84 minus 46. And let me just show you all this by hand. Well, we are just going to do all this by hand. So 84 minus 46. So uh, that's... Well, 4 minus 6 doesn't work. We have to carry, um, we have to borrow first, right? So cross out the 8 and make that 7 and make the 4 as a 14. 14 minus 6 is equal to 8. Okay? 4 minus 6 doesn't work, but 14 minus 6 is equal to 8. And then we have 7 minus 4, which is equal to 3. So when we do 86, so 84 minus 46, we get 38. Then, don't forget, we still have the plus 2. Lastly, 
we just need to do 38 plus 2, and of course that's equal to 40. Okay. And let's work out the next one. And I'll just do the next one. Right here. Next one. I have 6 parentheses 57 minus 53 parentheses square. Okay. And according to the order of operation, we see in this case we have parentheses. We need to work out the inside of the parentheses first. We need to work out the inside of the parentheses first. Okay. So the inside we have 57 minus 53. And if we subtract that, we get 4. And anything else will stay the same. So let me bring down the 6. And also let me bring down the parentheses. The result of 40, the result of 57 minus 53 is equal to 4. And I put it inside. And we still have the square. Okay, the second power here. Okay. Then we see that we have 6 parentheses, 4 parentheses, 2. Okay. So the two little two right here, it's the exponents. Okay, it's the exponents. So what we need to do first, uh, what we do need to do right now is we have to carry out 4 to the second power. Okay, so 4 to the second power, this means 4 times 4. You write down two of the 4s, and then we are going to multiply them together, and that's equal to 16. So this will be, we still have the 6 in the front. And 4 to the second power is 16, right? So let's put down 16. But what's missing? If I just put down like this, it looks like 616, right? The thing that we're missing is the parentheses. So we are going to bring down the parentheses, maintain the parentheses. In this case, the parentheses, when we have a number, parentheses and number, the parentheses right here means to multiply. The parentheses right here means to multiply. And for the last step, we just need to multiply 6 times 16. And you can just do it on the side, 16 times 6. It's easier to put a number that has more digits on the top and the 6 on the bottom. Okay, and then just work this out. This is 6 times 6 is 36, right? Oops, I shouldn't put it like that. So 6 times 6 is 36. And 6 times 1 is 6 plus the 3 is 9. So the answer is... 96. And let me show you my, on my worksheet. So I have these questions. And then on the bottom on the, of the second page, I have the answer list right here. I have the answer list, list, list right here. So earlier, um, question three, let me see. Question three, I got 40. And if you flip through the second page, you should be able to find 40. And then we did right, right here. And you should just like cross out when you, um, you should just cross them out as you work. Okay, so we can cross out the 40. And then um, this question, we get 96. The answer is 96. So you can flick here and look for 96. And it's actually just right next to it. So again, you can also cross this out. Cross out the 96. So this is just one way that to ensure you um, are doing the questions right without.